Good afternoon. My name is uh, Deng Deng Nial. I'm the uh, ambassador of the Republic of South Sudan, accredited to the United Arab Emirates here in the capital city of UAE, Abu Dhabi. And I just want to uh, take the opportunity to thank the SSTV, and I would like to inform uh, the nation that uh, His Excellency President Salfa Kirmayadid and his accompanying delegation uh, visited the United Arab Emirates on the 22nd of April uh, 2019 on an official uh, visit for the 23rd and the 24th. Uh, the visit, of course, was historic. An invitation was from His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed and Nahyan, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, uh, Supreme, uh, Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces. Uh, so he also met with the uh, Vice President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President of UAE, Prime Minister, Ruler of Dubai. Uh, the purpose of the visit was historic. The delegation that accompanied the President was the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of South Sudan, Honorable Nial Deng Nial, as well as the Minister of Finance, Honorable Garang, Salvatore Garang Mabiodi, as well as uh, Minister in the Office of the President, Honorable Mayik Ayi Deng, as well as uh, Honorable Deputy Minister of Labor and Human Resource Development, uh, Honorable Baba Medan. Uh, accompanying delegation and other officials who accompanied the president. Uh, the purpose of the visit, the agreement was, the agreements, two agreements were signed uh, and three MOUs. Uh, the first agreement uh, was the avoidance of double taxation uh, between the two countries and of course avoidance of double taxation gives the uh, uh, businesses the opportunity not to be taxed twice. The second major agreement is the protection of investment uh, between the two countries and of course the protection investment does guarantee uh, businesses uh, investing in South Sudan protection, they can recoup their investment, they can invest at any time, recoup their investment at any time or take the money out of the country at any time. So these are the two major uh, agreements signed with the United Arab Emirates and uh, the Republic of South Sudan has never signed such an agreement with any country but the United Arab Emirates so therefore it's a historic, uh, it was a historic uh, moment. Now, there are three MOUs also signed. The first MOU is the technical cooperation agreement between the two countries, which lays the foundation or the basis for signing other agreements in the near future between the two countries. The second MOU is the um, exemption of uh, visa, visa waiver for the uh, uh, UAE citizens coming into the, uh, into the Republic of South Sudan. The third MOU is between the Emirates Diplomatic Institute and the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation regarding training of the diplomats uh, from the Republic of South Sudan in the UAE. Those are the five major items signed and it's very historic indeed, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, uh, just to let you know that uh, this, 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 this moment now is agreements that will strengthen the relationship between the two uh, sisterly countries. My job as the ambassador here, of course, of the Republic of South Sudan is to engage uh, with, the, with, with, with the public here, with the, with the government, with the private sector, to engage, to inform, to protect, to defend, to develop, to sustain. The work I'm doing is for the people of South Sudan, and I'm glad that His Excellency the President Salfa uh, visited the country. Uh, now, the, the social media, the, you could be hearing other things, there is a lot of disinformation and misinformation, but that's to hear it from the horse's mouth. I am the ambassador, and when my president comes here, I know exactly what my president is coming to do here in this country. Those are the five items I told you, the two agreements, major agreements, and the three MOUs. The first one, as we have said, avoidance of double taxation at the Janub al Izdiwaj al Daribi bin Nisba li al Muassasat al Lazi to Stosmir fi Janub al Sudan. Number two, al Ittifaqiyah al Huwa Himayat wa Tasjiyah al Istismar. Number three, al Taawun al Fani bin al Dawlatin. Number four, al Huwa Aifa al Visa li al Muawwin Dawlat al Imarat. And number five, al Huwa al Mawyu Muzakkir al Tafahum bin al Merkaz al Imarat al Diplomasiya wa Wazat Khariji wa Taawun Dawl al Janub al Sudan li Tad. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, private sector is the engine of economic growth. I will do my best in this country and other ambassadors also of South Sudan all over the world 
we are all working hard for the sake of the nation. The last thing I would like to say, the issue of the implementation of the agreement is very important that the private sector, that the youth and the women uh, are engaged. We need to build our country. Our country is very rich in natural resources. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of His Excellency President Salfa Kim Mayadid, I thank you and uh, we shall do the work. The work has just begun. There is still more work to be done. So the youth, let us work together. Please, let us build our country and we wish this peace will continue and the implementation of the peace agreement and the government is formed this 12th May 2019. Thank you very much. Wa shukran wa ila al